It has been another week and the government is still shut down, leaving over 800,000 workers without paychecks for the second time this month. The government has been shut down for 34 days as of today and doesn't look like it will end anytime soon. So recently, Donald Trump has been toying with the idea of declaring a national emergency and this is something he has not been so certain about, but given that it's been over 33 days, he might have to do it soon. So that might be our only way out. The government shutdown is affecting various areas of American life. For example, if you're going to an airport, you might receive slower wait times. The FBI is currently halting some of its investigations, which could threaten national security. And also the air quality is also going down due to the lack of administrations being funded. This past weekend, I went to the Angeles National Forest and uh, the trails weren't in the best conditions. And sometimes you could kind of really lose track of the trails because uh, you could kind of tell that the rangers had like not worked there in a while. I feel really bad for all the people who right now aren't getting paid. It must be horrible. Yesterday, the Republicans and Democrats attempted to pass bills to the Senate, but they could not reach an agreement. However, today we just learned that the government will be reopened for three weeks. This has been Ryan, back to you guys in the studio.